Over the past six years, uh, along with many awesome people, I created almost 150 murals in Cancun and the Mayan Riviera. And I am not a muralist. I'm just a photographer who came here on holidays, uh, learned to scuba dive and never left. After a few years and few jobs, I co-founded a content agency with my partner Gino. He's also a photographer and he's keen on hip hop culture. Along that time, our good friend Patty was volunteering with Pangea Seed Foundation to create the first SeaWorlds in Cozumel. For those of you who are not familiar with Pangea Seed SeaWorlds program, its main purpose is to create large-scale murals that raise awareness about the problems that our oceans are facing right now. And obviously, for a scuba diver and a hip hop fan, this mashup of street culture and ocean love felt like custom made. So we smuggled our way in into this massive festival and when we arrived, like, we couldn't believe what we saw. It was one small island, 44 artists, almost 50 crew members to create 35 murals in just a couple of weeks. It was madness. And arguably, it was also one of the most transcendental festivals that year. At that time, we had no idea of scaffoldings or liters of paint per square meter, uh, or pretty much any of the hard work behind those goals. So the only job that we have to do was to take uh, photographs of the process of the artist, which is nothing compared to what we're doing that, uh, right now. And the time passed, we needed to head back home, but I'm sure like none of the Cancun crew came back the same. We witnessed like, the power of big format art in a community, and we wanted to continue doing that. So it just came natural that we created something of our own. And that is how Proyecto Panorama was born. Proyecto Panorama is a non-profit organization that creates identity and recovers urban spaces for the community. And we use art all along the way. But before we start talking about how we work, let's talk a little bit about Cancun. The city was consciously created 50 years ago. 50 years means like everyone older than that had to be born some, like, somewhere else. Uh, population increases from a few thousands to almost a million people in five decades. We have people from Mexico and pretty much all the world, but there is no common ground, there is no local gastronomy or typical music. And in spite of all that lack of identity, I truly feel like I belong to Cancun. It is not easy to be a local in a city that is created for tourists. To make an example, we have 25 kilometers of public beach and only five public entrances. All the rest is for the hotels. And I'm not crazy either about the way Cancun is portrayed to the world, because we are so much more than massive hotels and tourism and like spring break parties. We are a growing community of hardworking, talented people. And believe me, we have so much to say. But how? How we can express that to the world or even to ourselves? So an essential part of our process is curatorship. Patricia Linaje, our director, takes a lot of time and effort to choose artists for every specific uh, wall, every specific intention. She explains to them that in this project, their art is just a means to a social end. And she explains to them as well that they are not getting paid since we are a nonprofit. So yeah, I'm still impressed of how many great and talented people we get, on, we get on board. And just a little side note for those of you who are not familiar with the process of mural painting. For each wall to be completed, it takes from almost eight days. And the artists work an average of 10 hours every day. All the time they are either on ladders or a lift. And pretty much if you're in the Caribbean under the sun. So yeah, it's a hard physical work. And the little spare time they have, they spend it even fixing their sketches or taking rest. And sometimes the artists came to Cancun and they never get to the beach. So before they start painting, we brief them about our city, the way we live it, the way we see it. And otherwise it would be really difficult for them to understand a community that they know nothing about. So they, we talk about biodiversity, we share with them our social problems so they can get like a a better idea of the big complex thing that is Cancun. White sand beaches, massive hotels, Mayan roots, and the real Cancun, the people. And speaking about the people, sometimes the hardest part is to get the community on board. Since we are painting in private property, we need the owner's permission. And many people just can't understand that we are not working for money. Many of them find it difficult to believe that we want to improve a space that we don't own. 
And we get all sorts of questions like, what are you getting out of this? Or even which political party are you working for? Now imagine a couple of guys in their 30s with beard, tattoos, talking about long-term benefits of working in your identity as a community, or how public art can attract a more sustainable and conscious tourism. Because as naive as it sounds at the very beginning, we really thought that everyone would get the advantage of improving a space with art. And that's a tough lesson that we learn. We are not improving anyone's life. People used to live like this and will continue living like this without our project and the art that comes with it. And for some of them, it's not even art. And we just need to accept that. But don't worry, our speech is always better, every year a little bit sharper, and all the work we've done makes it easier for us to engage with the community and the sponsors. Because yes, we also need money. Like, we always need more money. And I'm not gonna talk about the financial juggling that we do before every festival. I just wanna give like a big thank you to all the local businesses, to our friends, to our family, and even the strangers that trusted us enough to support this project. You really are the ones that are making all this possible. And to summarize, Proyecto Panorama is years of experience and mistakes, a lot of hard work, the right people, whether it's crew, uh, artists, sponsors, community, and a clear and selfless intention. Now, when you mix all that, something unique happens. And I'm gonna say something magical, because the result is really beyond reason. You're gonna watch a video that I edited and pretty much filmed everything, but I never feel like my own. I always felt like I was just fortunate enough to be part of it. And a little context is that it's about a mural that Celeste Byers and Aaron Glasson created in 2017. They wanted to, to show Cancun through time, as well as portray a resident of the area. Our good friend Irma suggested her mother Margarita, since she was one of the, the oldest residents of the building. Margarita, and may she rest in peace now, was from a small town in Yucatan. Her native language is Maya, and never fully learned Spanish. Celeste is from California and speaks just a little Spanish, while Aaron is from New Zealand and speaks no Spanish at all. So I was translating from English to Spanish while Irma was translating from Spanish to Maya. And I have no idea how they get that deep level of connection. As many of the indigenous people in Mexico, Margarita wasn't used to seeing her ethnicity represented in public media and even less in big format images. And maybe that is why she didn't want to see the process of the mural. What you're about to see is from the day the mural was finished. And I swear, we didn't plan anything. Like, we couldn't, if we've, even if we want to. And one last thing. Uh, you remember I told you I run a content agency? Well, I've been producing audiovisuals for big brands, and believe me, it's really hard to find this kind of story. You will need to invest so many dollars to get even close to the outcome that we got. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. No, we didn't really like feel the pressure of it until we were like almost done painting her face, because like it hadn't settled in. Like, oh, we're painting this person, and we don't really that much about like I hope she reacts well yeah. to this. I, I think the word you're looking for is like um, uh, responsibility, right? Yes, yes. set out to take pictures of Margarita, um, I didn't want her to feel like we were exploiting her or her culture. Like I really hoped that wouldn't be the case, but, and it was just so cool in the end how it turned out to be just the total opposite of that and us feeling like connected with the family and like we were giving them something and they were giving us something. Uh -huh. We got to actually 
connect with the local community, which I think is sometimes really hard to do when you're in a place for such a short period of time. So her daughter, uh, Irma, cooked us food every day, and we got to know her and her great granddaughter, Totis. And, and like on the last day, it was really awesome because uh, Margarita brought us, brought me and uh, the other girls or women involved in the project, these Mayan Ipil dresses, and we all wore them, and it was uh, kind of like this ritualistic thing. Like they did my hair and my makeup and gave me this dress to wear and let me borrow their shoes, and it was just really cool being able to be accepted into someone's culture and having other people want to share their culture with us. Yeah, so I guess we painted, we wanted to paint someone from the community and that's what we set out to do, but I guess we never expected that it could have resulted the way it did. Yeah. Just I, in the whole, yeah, the whole ceremony and experience. Yeah, I've, from, of all our murals, I've never seen people resonate as much as they did with the mural for this one. I think what was really strong about it was that a lot of people connected to it of whatever, but I think that's something um, powerful for a community is if they can look at a mural you paint and really resonate with it and identify with it and feel some sense of connection with it. It is amazing, I know. So, hard work, years of making mistakes, gathering and trusting the right people, and a clear and selfless intention. You do that, and I promise, the outcome will be unpredictable, but so, so much better that you ever expected. Thank you. <laughs>